So now that we've got our measures here, you can keep those present in the left hand side. And really what we want to do is we want to ask yourself, how do these values change when I add new numbers to my list? So it's probably a good idea to write down that 14.25, write down that the median is 14, write down that the standard deviation is 0 0.6, um, and then watch how they change when you add a new number. So if I were to include my age, if at this current time I'm 31, so notice that I've added a comma, and I'm just going to add 31 to my data. So you can see, and this is really important to see, that when I added 31, as we anticipated, my mean increased. It was 14.25. It's increased a lot to 16.1. And that uses our common sense there. That should be um, pretty obvious that including a bigger number is going to increase my mean. But coincidentally enough, the median stayed the same. And it's it does stay the same because if you remember what we learned, medians are not very affected by outliers. 31 would be an outlier in this particular example. Because 31 is much different than the rest of our data, that it really does change my mean, but it doesn't really modify or change my median. So the median didn't change at all. It's still 14. And the last but not least, your standard deviation went increased a lot because we were only at 0 0.6, but then I increased, introduced a new number that was much bigger, much more spread out. So my standard deviation went all the way up to 5.3. The same thing would have happened if I included my son's age. So my son's only three right now. So if I included his age of three, it's gonna pull the mean down from 14.25 down to 13. And the median, again, the median's unaffected by the outlier, so it stays the same. So it's still 14. And then the standard deviation, even though I included a number that's less than everybody else, my data is still more spread out. So my standard deviation is still much bigger. Okay? So you've got to be careful. You've got to be very considerate of when you remove or include numbers. How does the mean, how does the median, and how does the standard deviation how is it all affected? So that's a quick video on how to compare those uh, measurements to each other and also how they change.